OK, I still don't get evaluating functions. Um, let me just go ahead and explain to you, kind of do a quick little review of at least you know, an expression and then also a variable. So first of all, remember, if we have a numeric expression, all that simply means is like 1 plus 2, right? And so that means I just want to add you know, 1 plus 2. Well, then what we're going to get into is then we start bringing in algebraic expressions where we introduce variables, meaning an unknown. So let's use our favorite unknown, x. And let's say instead of saying 1, I say x plus 2. So now what that means is, rather I'm just not going to add 1 to 2, I'm going to add an unknown number. Now that unknown number could be 1, but it could be 2, it could be 3, it could be 4, it could be 5. We leave it as x because we want it to be able to have it represent any number. It could be a negative 5, it could be a negative 1 fifth, um, it could be all sorts of numbers, whatever we want it to be. So how do we and when do we determine what that value is going to be? Well, that's when we come into evaluating expressions. So in evaluating expressions, I'm going to say that the value of x is equal to a number. So let's say, what if, um, I'll do it a couple ways. I'll do three examples. That's supposed to be a 2, and this will be a 3. So let's say I say x equals negative 1. So let's say I want the value of x to be negative 1. Well, that means, remember I said here I have 1 plus 2. Well, here I have x plus 2. I don't know what the value of x is. So if I say now the value of x is negative 1, I, that's why we just say you just plug in whatever that number is in for x, because that's the value we need to figure out. So negative 1 plus 1, negative 1 plus 2 is just going to give us 1. Now let's say x equals 7. All right. So then, again, we now know the value of x is 7. So I just say 7 plus 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. And you can kind of get this game here. I can pick any number I really want to for 3. You can think of a number and be like, oh, what if x equaled this? What if x equaled that? And you know, it really doesn't. Uh, matter what you want to uh, apply for x, or if you're told, you're just going to take whatever that value is that you're given and plug it in for your x. So let's just do one more. Let's do uh, 1 half equals x. Let's write it the wrong, not the wrong way, but a way we're not used to. So x equals 1 half. That just means we're going to do 1 half plus 2. So that equals 2 and 1 half, or 2.5 written as a decimal. So there you go. That is a, a little bit, again, a review if you're still having trouble with evaluating uh, expressions.